Hey y'all, I'm Vinny Ford Journey and welcome to Sidewalk Empire. Today brings us here to Bloodhound Bar and Kitchen in Fortitude Valley. I've been coming to the valley for many, many years, but this venue's been here for about one year. This place does awesome craft beer, Latin American food, it's two stories of fun, exposed brick walls, has a bit of a rustic chic kind of feel to it. I love bringing my family and friends here for a Sunday afternoon session. But anyway, we'll be chatting to the staff, we'll be chatting to the owner, David, so they'll give you a clear indication of what this place is really about. Sit back, enjoy the show, and I'll catch up with y'all a bit later. Cyborg Empire. We're here today with owner of this fine venue, Bloodhound Bar, David. So th thanks for joining us today, man. Thanks for having me. So how long have you actually been here for now? Well, we've been here for just over a year. We celebrated our first birthday in early May. We were renovating for about six months or so just beforehand. So it feels like a lot longer than just a year. When we first sort of came here, it was a, a restaurant for about 20 years, um, and that restaurant had the building looking in a very different way to what it is in its current state. It took a little time to renovate and get it looking the way it is, but we're glad it's now been running uh, really well for the last year now. What inspired the name Bloodhound Bar? I've got to ask you, because it's such a cool name. Yeah, sure. So my wife, Noni, um, came up with the idea of Bloodhound Bar, you know, just brainstorming. It really just stuck and we were sort of wondering why, why, it would stuck, why it stuck so much and it's because, you know, we're all dog lovers, there's four owners, so there's two couples and we're all dog lovers. Um, uh, dogs are very warm, friendly, welcoming, loyal. We thought that was a perfect fit for what we wanted to be as a bar. A welcoming, genuine, you know, there's a genuine kind of interest and genuine kind of love for what we do and for the people that come through the doors. You guys also do pretty kick-ass food here though as well. Um, can you tell us a bit about your menu? Like as far as like, because I because like, I know you are Latin American based, but you can tell us a bit on, about that as well. One of the main reasons uh, why we went with the Latin American route is because um, uh, a good friend of ours, um, Gabriel, who was actually a chef of ours at the borough, he's from Peru, his flavour knowledge and his love for all things Latin American is um, fantastic. Um, it's very infectious when he talks about um, that style of food and we just wanted to bring that to the valley. We felt there was a little bit of a possible niche for us to sort of get into for the Latin American fair here in the valley. So our dishes are very simple, flavorful, traditional. We wanted to sort of build on that. Yes, yeah, this is such a cool name. Like, and where you're located, like, you know, um, on you guys, 454 Brunswick Street, that's exactly where this place is located. Um, it's in like the heart of the valley, which is such an amazing location. Like you're not right in like, like you're not right in like, you know, the full on hub of it, which is good. You're kind of just like maybe like 50 meters just on the outskirts, which is even better because you get, you know, that better kind of demographic coming through. Um, so is there any particular thing that made you choose this location? The end result, as you said, is, is very true. Um, being out of the valley just a touch has been great. In the same way as the borough is over in West End, it's just a touch off Boundary Street. And it does allow you to, I guess, be a little bit more um, yourself and, and, and rather than have to sort of cater to the masses that sort of walk through the mall or walk along the main street. So you can do your thing and there's people in the vicinity and the right kind of people will then you know, gravitate towards the same things that we want to sort of showcase. Now mate, your, your bar staff are awesome. Like I was chatting to a lot of your bar staff today and um, they are awesome, by the way. Um, can you tell us a bit about your bar staff? Like, do you like do you handpick your bar staff? I think any business should be handpicking their staff, of course. Um, it comes down to, for us, um, first and foremost, character. Experience in the industry is a must, of course, but it's not the thing that we hire on, first and foremost. You know, we, we always look for people who are genuine, who are nice, pleasant, always professional and um, have a real willingness to please. And they have to display a passion for the product. We strongly believe that you know, character is pretty much the number one attribute to kind of um, um, nail down as a first and foremost with a, with a potential staff member. And then 
everything else you can sort of build on from there if you need to. What kind of demographic do you guys think that you appeal to here? Yeah, so the demographic is um, a real variety of things here in the valley. Uh, obviously locals, um, your weekend um, party goers, beer uh, lovers, beer geeks um, that come in here as well. Uh, we, 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 try to, we try to sort of um, um, tick all the boxes as, as far as uh, making it welcoming for all sorts of people. So you guys are always having events here, aren't you? Well, there's always something going on at Bloodhound Bar, isn't there? Yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. So um, it's a very big um, uh, philosophy of ours is to um, keep things interesting for our um, customers, for ourselves, for just in, in general, just to be able to kind of push the limits a little bit with, um, you know, trying to do weekly things or bi-weekly things with either tap takeovers or there might be a rare keg of something coming to Queensland that we're tapping. Might be a live music gig might be whiskey tasting, which we've had, wine tastings. Yeah, we're, we're trying to keep things moving along and, and keep things interesting and, yeah. Well, guys, did you have a good day? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, Great. yeah awesome day. Thanks for watching, guys. We had an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Sidewalk Empire. Get down to Bloodhound Bar. You heard David. David and the staff will be happy to look after you. 454 Brunswick Street, Fortitude Valley. This place is awesome. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Sidewalk Empire.